Hi everyone! This week's video is a sketch that I roughly did of Devimon. Um, this week I've actually struggled to try to actually sit down and draw something. There was distractions from video games and real life, but I finally managed to actually get something done. Um, not quite what I wanted, but I'm very happy with the end result which I should be because I think it's absolutely adorable. Um, so, it's Devimon from Digimon. Yay! Um, if you know me, you will know that I absolutely adore this digital monster. Mon. <laughs> Whatever you want to call him. Um, but yeah, he's my favourite. Digimon out of all of them. There are a couple of other favourites that I have, like um, little Tokomon, which is in his arms, um, and there's also Lunamon, but I actually find them very, very difficult to draw. Um, but for some reason I just find Devimon so easy. I guess it's because I've had a lot of practice. <laughs> um, so what I did was the initial sketch was done with a Prismacolor Cola Race pencil. I grabbed the black one. I was originally going to use a dark purple, but I decided on the black one instead just to see how it would turn out and I just I thought, well, I haven't done anything this week. I'm just gonna see what happens. Um, and if I like it, I like it. If I don't like it, I don't like it. But um, I actually really liked it. The only problem that I had with the pencil was it seemed to not like being put down and then erased a lot. I mean, I know that they usually don't like that. Sorry. But I noticed that for some reason it just really didn't like it with the black one. Which, I mean, it's, it's okay. I shouldn't be sketching stuff out and then erasing it madly like I do, but I did. And, uh, but it, it doesn't matter. The paint managed to hide it. Um, the paints that I used, uh, the grey and the red were actually from the cotton set. Unfortunately, I don't actually know what the mix of the purple was, which I used for his face, and the brown, which is just going on like the little bands on that now. Um, I don't actually know what set that's from. I think it's from White Knights. I can't remember, it was just all in a palette, so sat there, so I just used it. Um, oh, and the pink for Tokomon, I don't know what it actually was. So, sorry. <laughs> um, I also used um, the silver paint that I have, the silver acrylic paint. I really like it, and I want to use it more than what I have. So I just decided to go put little bits of silver in Devimon because I could. Um, I think at the end I show like some of it, but I don't think you can see it very well. It it's much better in person. Um, oh, I also used a oh, it's a Pentel brush. I can't remember what they're called. Um, but yeah, I used one of them. Unfortunately, uh, when I took the lid off of the red one, it bat everywhere. I don't know what happened, why it did it, how it did it. Um, I think it was just because I took the lid off, but I got it all over my fingers. Um, and I think you get to see like pink fingers, <laughs> pink fingertips. Um, so yeah, I, I really, really enjoyed doing this picture. Um, I need to draw Devimon a bit more often, and I, I think I need to like break up my videos a bit more with different styles. So the last couple of videos that I did, I really like those styles, but I find that I get exhausted because I just put so much effort into it and I just find myself getting worn out really, really quickly. So just something simple and fun is what I should be trying to focus on more so than you know, making it look as they do. Anyway. <laughs> um, I don't actually know what this pen is. I think it's a zebra. I think. I'll have, it'll be in the description what it is. 
Um, but I got it with the Kuratake watercolor set that I got. Um, I really like the colors. I think I rave on about them in every video, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm not. I'm going to keep my nush up. Um, I also really liked the effect. I think I might try to do, like, how I did this one more often. Um, I couldn't do as much wet on wet as I usually do because it's in the sketchbook and I found that the book that I use, I can't put too much water on the paper because it buckles like a mofo. Like, I just, I can't stop it from buckling and no matter what I do, I can't really stop it. <laughs> so I did a little bit and I ended up finding the paint being really dry because I didn't have it. I was too frightened about it buckling and peeling because I've had a couple of pages peel. Um, it says it's 300 GSM, but it just, it feels thinner than that after I've used the cotton, but I guess because it's actual, um, it's paper and not cotton. Um, anyway, so I think I'll leave talking there. There's a little bit left in the video, but it's, there's not really much else that I can really say about this. Um, so thank you so, so much for watching. If you want to see updates or anything, I do have um, some social media stuff. I've got Instagram and there's Facebook. Um, the links for those are down in the description. So if you wanted to keep a bit more up to date with my stuff, you can follow me there. Um, but overall, thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to do another video next week. Thank you. Bye.